It's Mike Maslanga. Today, I'd like to help puncture a method litigation. What is it? Here it is. It's when an employee decides to sue an employer. An employee or former employee reasons it out this way. You know what? I'll sue. That's right. I will sue. That's the ticket. I may win, and I'm better off. I may lose, but you know what? I'm no worse off. So wrong. So very, very wrong. A recent case from Houston illustrates why. Some employees sued under the Fair Labor Standards Act for unlawful pay practices. It went to trial. The employees lost, and they were ordered by the court to pay the whopping sum of $33,373 as costs to the employer. Costs? That's right. And those costs are automatically awarded. No ifs, ands, or buts. What are they? Stuff that the employer had to pay for copying costs, deposition costs, including the costs incurred in videotaping the depositions, and the costs that the employer incurred by using a professional trial technician who was at trial and who helped display exhibits and run videos. Note that costs are also due if the case is thrown out before trial on summary judgment. I sometimes end my depositions by asking the plaintiff if he or she knows about costs. Since some lawyers never tell their clients, I figure I'll educate them a little bit by asking. And when I ask, I figure it gives the client and the lawyer something to talk about in the elevator on the way down to the lobby. I know plaintiffs are thinking, you'll never collect. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. Not so fast. The fact that the employee owes the money will pop up anytime the employee applies for a loan to buy a car, wants to finance a child's education, add a bathroom to the house. There are consequences to filing suit and losing suit. As my mother taught me, always speak to people in a language they can understand. This is Mike Maslanka at your desk.